Alrighty. Good and happy day to everyone out there on YouTube and everywhere else for that matter. Yeah. Because it should be. That's the way it should be. Um, yeah, Marty here with my No Man's Sky special Friday night stream. This is The Fugitive. The Fugitive, yes. I'm going to try to close it out this evening, one way or another. Hopefully he won't, uh, you know, meet an untimely end, but uh, I guess you never know. So, um, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday, when we left off yesterday, I was saying something about wanting to find a paradise moon. So um, I'm going to dedicate the first bit of this dream to that search such that we can hopefully get on with the show here. So, um, okay, let's get into it, shall we? So... Here's what we're uh, here's what we're about here. We got two glyphs. We need four, and uh, it's really uh, pretty much that simple. Two glyphs. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, see if I can find Margie, Marty Fugitive YouTube Base One. Yeah. So I put a base on that planet over there. I, you know, I was um, experimenting with a few things. We don't even have a solar ship yet. That's, that's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, because I cannot go into pirate space stations and... Uh, sell my wares. So I'm okay. Change plan. <laughs> Two minutes in, and there's a change plan. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to restart my uh, speech chat over there, because otherwise I won't hear anybody in chat. Okay. And uh, let's uh, let's put this in autopilot for just one second. Chat. And there you have it. Okay, so that's working. Okay. Um, yeah, something really, really weird happened today. I. I have a really nasty habit of chewing on my fingers, like, and removing hangnails and stuff. And um, ever since I've been on these uh, heart medications, um, I'm having trouble stopping bleeding when a hangnail bleeds, for example. And it's uh, it's kind of scary. Um, and I'm having an episode as we speak. Uh, my I, I I ripped a hangnail off my right thumb, my mouse thumb probably three hours ago or more now and it it's it's still bleeding um it's only bleeding a little tiny tiny bit at a time but it's still bleeding and it's um well hopefully i'll still be around for the uh, saturday morning cartoon tomorrow and the other streams next week and so on and so forth i i don't know i i don't know if this is catastrophic or not i i hope not but in any event, um, uh, fugitive, fugitive can't go into the buildings. Right, 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 right. Looking for a crash solar right now, or even a glyph. A glyph will do for sure. Um, I'm not going on walkabout. Uh, because I want to find a, um, I would like to try and find a paradise moon somewhere preferably in a pirate system but it certainly does not have to be in a pirate system i uh i keep saying you know last friday when i finished up my uh my twitch stream uh 
my Twitch playthrough of The Fugitive. Um, it was pretty crazy because um, I managed to find a planet. Um, nothing special. Well, I thought it wasn't anything special. I disabled the Sentinels because, uh, of course, uh, nobody likes to run around on a planet. Sentinels in your face all the time. So uh, there's that. But uh, shortly after, a storm blew in. And uh, when you know, it, it was an anti-gravity storm. So um, <laughs> had a lot of fun jetpacking around that planet. Found a couple of glyphs and finished it up there uh, last Friday night. So that's the kind of uh, luck I'm hoping to have tonight. Last Friday was the Twitch. This Friday is YouTube's turn to, to close it out. Now we're 32, uh, I think I saw 32 hours in for this particular uh, challenge. And again, you know, I'm, I'm not rushing through this. This is not a race for me. It's a challenge. Um, and yeah, so basically I'm just uh, kind of waddling through and, uh, you know, it looks like a duck. Guess what? Probably a duck, right? <laughs> it's a lame duck. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just uh, kind of going through and going easy, going slow, and uh, trying not to put this guy in too much of a predicament where, you know, stream's going to come to an end and and uh, feel like i got to start over again. I, I won't be doing this. Uh, I won't be doing this challenge again. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can uh, guarantee you that one because um, it's, it's a long haul. It is. It's absolutely a long, long haul. This this thing of finding glyphs, for me anyway, it's been a bit of a haul, right? I don't know about for everybody else. I, I know some people, especially the uh, the person that organized it, uh, you know, can f has pretty much the knack of finding things such as glyphs. Um, me? Nah. I, uh, I just walk, keep my, uh, put my head down and walk. On the planet, walk and jetpack, right? And um, what happens happens, right? So that's about that's about the size of it, right? No, no special trickery or you know uh, methodology or anything like that. It's just put your head down, walk, scan every uh, every four or five hundred units, meters, whatever you want to call them. There, do a do a three sixty just to see if there's any um if there's any uh graves traveler graves in the vicinity but aside from that no no real plan just go right just go and scan things have fun um defend yourself when you need to stuff like that right so uh yeah nothing uh Nothing special going on here. Just, uh, just having fun with a chill, chill kind of uh, no man's sky playthrough here. Um, somewhat chill. Let's 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 be clear. It is a permadeath playthrough, so uh, well, I accept that I tweak back the, uh, the don't delete the. I, I should have left it like it was because now it looks more like a survival playthrough in the, uh, in the. Um, in the game list but regardless uh pretty much everything is uh it's pushed all the way to the hilt the difficulties here's something interesting yes sir e bob i'm gonna do this let's see where is the terminal okay down there well let's just put this thing gently right next to the terminal like this and then we can get out and turn these guys off. Yep, there you go. All right. Nobody said you couldn't do this, so guess what? We're doing it! Full spitter, advanced mining laser. I don't even know if I have that, you know? Let me just double check that. Okay, I'm gonna 
gonna log off. I'm gonna check my uh uh I do I I don't think I have the advanced mining laser. Thirty hours in, Marty doesn't have the advanced mining laser. Um Okay. What about on this guy? No, nothing on this guy. This guy Okay, hang on now. I gotta make sure I get the right weapon on the right uh, the right number here because I'm gonna get all messed up. Um What do we have on this thing? Do we have anything here either? Yeah, this is a this is a throwaway as well. What about uh, five and six, I think, yeah. So this one is the miner, yeah. Mining, scanning, and I do not have, oh my God, hang on. I gotta pause this for a minute. My, my thumb is about to bleed out on the, uh, on the mouse here. So uh, just bear with me for a moment.
Oh shit, 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 what the hell's going on? <laughs> I was out in the elements. My character almost, uh, the stream was almost over just there, right there and then. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird. I, my blood thinners. All I gotta do is clip a hangnail off my thumb and bleeds for hours. I just... What the hell? <sighs> okay, what broke? Anything break? Oh, that's recharging. That's good. Wow, that was just... That was just insane. Starship defensive shielding. I guess I'm... I got nothing here. My goodness, C-class shuttle. That's what I got. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I doing? I think this this is not my go-to ship. It can't be. Okay, how am I doing for health here? Am I doing okay? Yeah, okay, let's just take a look at what it is that I do have there. So I got... I got this fighter. That fighter, that fighter. An explorer, a, a hauler, and another fighter. I think one of those is S-Class, but it was beat up. I found it beat up. Um, and I did not have the advanced mining beam, so I'm going to grab this thing. Because it's... Oh, shit, it's not free. Uh, maybe I have enough. I have... I already... What the hell? New multi-tool. Oh, it's got all this stuff on it. Okay. Uh, okay, well, let's, uh, i tell you what we need to do then. We need to equip one that we can toss, which would be this guy. Because that guy doesn't have anything on it. He's all crapola. So, uh, we'll sacrifice that one for the one that has the really, well, it's got the advanced mining laser. And here we go. This is the one we're sacrificing. This is the one we're getting. They're both C class, so you know, crap really. But it's not. It's not the. It's not the tool that I'm uh, coveting here necessarily. It's the. Um, now this is my weapon, right? I had another one of those royals here. Jeez, is that my weapon? Thirty hours in, and that's all I can. That's all I can muster. Wow. Okay, so where are those barrels? Those barrels must have disappeared by now, I guess. When the... Oh, no, look at that. Still there. I'll be damned. I thought these disappeared after a while. The green one. Where's the green one? Because there was one from the... Uh, pretty sure there was one from the flying drone as, as well. Okay, what do we got here? We got a bunch of... Uh, we got a got a bunch of critters here. May as well do some scanning. Might as well, right? Yeah, may as well because uh, I get the wrong freaking tool out here for that. I'm not getting anything for those scans. This. 15 grand for the... That's a little better. Oh, 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 oh. Can we get a landed pilot? Can we get a landed pilot? Please, 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 please. <sighs> no. These guys are constantly going overhead and... Can't seem to get one to land. I... I you... Okay, so it's not a matter of getting one to land because you... you that's not how it works. That is not how it works. I guess it's a kind of a... Oh yeah, we don't have the Atlas Pass in this playthrough. That we're going to just turf for now. Okay, yeah, so I... I got a band-aid on it now, but... Mm, just going to have to keep an eye on it, I guess. Okay, 
save beacon for all that good that will do if this oh there it is way the hell over there all right what are you you're scanned already scan that scan that plants more uh hard to say didn't show me more but might have gotten more it's mineral too i think so Going to get to 15,000 for that. What about these here? These are new. And 50,000 for that. Okay. That's a little better. Not much, but just a little bit. There should be another one of similar to this down here. Yeah, I think that's it there. Oh, maybe not. I'm not going to bother. Uh, Digging that out too much. What do we got over here? Phosphorus? Indeed. Phosphorus. Do we have any phosphorus? We... Uh, does not look like it. Not only does not look like it, but... Ah, my inventory's full again. <laughs> what? Ship. Ship still has a couple of slots there. I can throw something in. Throw that in there. I think there may be some of those in another uh, in another ship as well. But oh, look at that Sentinel boundary map! I'll be damned. Okay. Ah, uh, gotta recharge that before I forget. Technology recharged. Okay, we are getting desperate for, uh, well, lots of creatures left. We're getting desperate for a landed pilot or a found, crashed uh, solar type ship. Solar ship is the only thing you can use to go into the... Um, uh, outlaw space stations, which are the pirate space stations, or the space stations in the pirate systems. That is the rule, as uh, stipulated by the uh, founder of this particular challenge. Um... So yeah, we're going to try to, uh, as best we can, abide by the rules. I think we've done a bang up job so far. Um, so um, yeah, so the Sentinels are out. That's good. We're probably going to stay here for a little bit. Um, and we'll continue going I think we were going no 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 no. Let's go west for a bit, just so we're not uh, going over our same tracks. Okay, so what's this over here? Ship scanner picking up stuff. Okay, this is really bothering me. Hangnail, and that's something. Sideline, Marty, sideline by a hangnail. Wow. Death by hangnail. <laughs> uh, too much, too much. Well, I don't, I don't feel any worse than I did a few hours ago, so... It's not like I lost a lot of blood here. I wouldn't say it was even an ounce yet. Half an ounce of blood. A thimble full, maybe. Over three hours. Bizarre. It's just bizarre. I really got 
to try to stop doing that though. Yeah, snagging out hangnails. Oh my goodness. What's next, right? Marty bleeds out through a hangnail. <laughs> Should laugh, I guess. I don't suppose that's ever been done. Well, I tell you what, if it does happen, you'll have been witness to the first ever lead out by a hangnail. No, that's impossible. Blood probably uh, gets regenerated quicker than I can bleed out through a hangnail anyway. It's not pissing out of it anyway, it's just uh, oozing out very, very slowly. Hopefully this band-aid will help keep pressure on and stop it up. Anyway, back to the uh, fugitive here. The task at hand. Yes, uh, yesterday I was mentioning I really wanted to get into a, a system with a uh, paradise moon. Um, I also noticed I have a bunch of crap in my inventory. Well, crap. Stuff I want to get rid of. So, um, I said, well, we're in a pirate system. Let, why don't we see if we can find a crashed, um, solar and get up into the, um, the outlaw space station where we can sell all this junk. Now, um, cause that's the only way in and out of space station you can't teleport out you're not allowed to use teleporters uh, and yeah so you have to fly in and fly out with your solar or a solar it doesn't have to be the same one even so what I'd probably see I got a few bucks there what I'd probably like to do is go in with a scrapped solar and uh, come out with a better one right that would be nice Well, I guess best case scenario is I could have a landed pilot sell me his, but um, got to be walking around for that to happen. And uh, that doesn't look like it's going to happen here. I, I don't know if I'm... What was that? Just a bunch of crap at the bottom of a, a dimple. She was. Uh, I thought for sure that was a a drop pod. I, I'm doing okay for uh, for inventory space in my exosuit. However, uh, I'm not really looking to uh, bolster that because it's already uh, it's. We're, I think I'm doing pretty good with that. And uh, actually, this shuttle, it's a crappy shuttle, but you know what? It holds its own. It, uh, I can defend myself in this thing. Strange as that sounds, that's a fact. Had lots of little skirmishes along the way here. And, uh, well, I mean, it's not like, um, it's not like the bounty hunter run I'm now doing on Twitch where your your job is to beef up your ship as best you can because you want to knock out as many pirates as you can as quickly as you can. Threat detected. I, you know, I'm just having so much of a hard time finding glyphs and crashed ships. It's just, it's absurd almost. I, I think I did bring out the uh, signal booster near the end of the last episode. So, uh, I think we have that tool going for us now. Let me just, uh, just going to go into my inventory just for a moment. There's a signal booster there, yeah? Okay, 
So we got that going for us now. Uh, shelter there. This planet is not very hospitable for walking on. Thing is, is I just knocked out the sent sentinel pillar a few moments ago. So, don't have to worry about that anyway. I should probably, uh, I would, I would avail myself of the, of the, uh, opportunity if, were it not for my, uh, my inventory being pretty much, uh, chock full of all kinds of stuff. Bones, you know, bones and, um, salvage data. The two probably, eh, best things you can do for money, uh, two of the top three, four, five, whatever. I would say those are the two, two of the, they're, they're my two go-tos for sure. Uh, you go to a planet with uh, ancient bones and uh, you can dig up a bunch in a hurry and, you know, work up a couple of million in, in units in, in very short order. So, uh, I just, uh, can't seem to find anything. Trust me, I, I'm 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 looking. My my eyes obviously aren't as good as they used to be, but um, that's not to say that I'm blind. It, what was that? Something burning. There's a couple of things burning here. Yeah, damage machinery. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd hate to just take off after, you know, downing the sentinel pillar. Take off so quickly after that, but that's why I'm kind of still hanging out here. Is I'd like to take advantage of that situation. There is a reason you do that, right? You don't want them in your face when you're doing all kinds of stuff, so... I don't know about this band-aid. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Oink. Ah, damn it. I get a funny feeling I'm going to be distracted here tonight. I was already distracted once. This character almost perished once. I went upstairs to get a band-aid because uh, what I had done previously wasn't working. So I went upstairs to get a band-aid and by the time I got back, the uh, hazard protection uh, almost failed completely. So, yeah. Um, my ship, the ship just stops arbitrarily, right? I don't get it. I want to fly slowly. And then he just stops, like, right in midair. He's like, something got a hold of him. I know, lots of threats. We're in a pirate system. But here's another minor settlement, of course. Uh, out of bounds. Out of bounds. You wouldn't think it'd be so hard to find a glyph. Eh? For me, for me it is. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, it's fun. See Occupied by my bleeding thumb, my hangnail. <laughs> they droll, very droll. Ha ha ha. Really hard to keep one eye on the compass on top and another one on the ground. You don't want to be impacting the ground necessarily. You gotta kind of well. You want to kind of keep an eye on, on the compass on top, cause 
the icon for the uh, the grave is going to go flying by and I'm not even going to see it, right? So I probably missed six or seven already. Sadly. But anyway. That's the advantage of walking, actually, is that uh, your um, helmet scanner, exo, whatever, exosuit, ex multi-tool, it's in the multi-tool uh, configuration, but it's part of your exosuit. Whatever it is, um, it, it scans, well, I mean, has a much lo longer range than the ship scanner, apparently. For the most part. I mean, the ship scanner, you can pick up something like a trade post. You can pick up a trade post like a minute, over a minute away. Okay? Which in a ship can be, you know, thousands and thousands of meters or units away, kilometers away, right? You're not going to do that in a, with your, uh, your helmet scanner, but Oh, look, a trading post. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Dang it. What I would do to land there and finish this. <laughs> nah. Let's persevere. That's the name of this uh, challenge. Persevere. Get through it, right? Get through it. Don't let your character die. And um, yeah, get to the next uh, next galaxy. There's just so much crap on the surface of this planet that looks like drop pods and other such things. I don't suppose one of these guys will land in front of me. I don't suppose that's a thing, is it? Doesn't look like it. They're coming from the trading post back there, actually. So we're probably on a ley line. Is that possible? Right around here somewhere? No ships, no graves, no nothing. I want to put this thing down and just walk for 20, 30 minutes just to see if we can get something. Ships, ships are, I think, a lot easier to find from the uh, from the air, though. I think that's that's you know can't argue with that, right? Graves, on the other hand, hard to say. I would think graves are a lot harder to find walking around. Just based on the size of these planets and the arbitrary uh, locations that, that they might be found in, right? Oh no, what the hell? Let's just make things, it's going to make things a little bit harder here. There's another trading post. What do we got here? Oh, that's a secured facility. Because I just saw sentinels popping off. Yeah. Resource depot. We got three slots in our ship. So 
that's for trading, that's for trading. Uh, what can we put up there? Did that even take up a spot? It did not. Okay. Consolidation, Marty. Now it's done. And... Let's see. I can almost... 28,000. You don't just throw that away, do you? I don't know. i put this up there, I guess. Alright. Now we... Harvest some goodies with um, thermic condensate, sure. Magno gold, yeah. Lemium, okay. What? Infantry full. Full of what? Oh, I see. Ah. Oh. Okay, inventory's full. Was full. What's that, another sentinel boundary map? Boy, are we ever lucky, huh? Okay, um... Nitrogen salt and what? Okay, so five... I'm gonna get in here so I don't get shot up. That's been known to happen to me. I don't know about you, but I suppose we could uh, find a few more drop pods. Why not? Nothing close, is it? Not really. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, it is. Five and a half minutes away. I could almost dig my way there. You know what? While these guys are doing what they're doing there, why don't I just dig my way over here? That, that, that fight's not going to last five minutes. That's fine. They can go ahead and shoot up the uh, probably the trading post they're shooting up yeah that's the silicate powder that's fine I don't need it anyway thank you you can turn it off now it's just annoying uh there more Eleven hundred units. Oh wow, is it that far? They're still shooting. Are they? Yeah, they are. Barkin ice holes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, gang. Uh I see there's a few people in chat there, but I don't, I don't hear anybody. Uh, my speech chat 
uh, website is on. So um, say hello. How you doing? Happy Friday. Happy weekend to everybody. And uh, hey, subscribe, punch the like button if you haven't already done that. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of uh, curious to see if my my subscriber number will jump to 100 today. I'm just curious. I know it's not a very big number, but eh, you know. It's all good, right? Hey, hey, we got a like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No free slots in suit inventory. Did they finish up their uh, little uh, pelting of the... Uh, looks like they did, yeah. Does my ship got... Ooh. I don't know if I need 100% or not. Okay, sometimes you get on a hot planet and I think, I think it might have to do with the... Uh, modifications you got on your jetpack but sometimes your jetpack will go on and on on these hot planets but again i'm i'm just uh wildly speculating here sounds like they're still shooting over there they're shooting somewhere Still going on. There's one guy still shooting at something. I don't know. I gotta rearrange my uh, my multi tools too, because I just uh, I think I just picked up the. Uh, Advanced mining laser, finally. That's another thing about not finding crashed ships, right? You <laughs> can't get the technology. Hey, that's cool. Um, now, okay, so if I do this, that will uh, offer my, uh, my heat protection, right? Okay, what else? Uh, okay, nothing to install there. Oh yeah, my thing is full, eh? Let's see, I do have... Okay, I got one of these. I got some of that. I don't have that. Uh, I think, me. yeah, I only had 10 sodium nitrate, so now I can... Fill that gap with this thing, then pull it out, right? Let the exosuit expansion slot. Yeah, so now I got two spaces. Okay, where's my ship? Is that the plant I missed? It is. Didn't get that either. Oh, we got a little creature there too. Boink, there's all the green paw. That's an underground, I think. Here's an overground. Overgrown overground. Five left, eh? Ground. Oh, there's, not, there's water on this planet, too. That's right. Three underwater, one underground, and one on the ground. That's rare. They should have all spawned by now, though, because... Um, I've been walking here for some time. Ship is back there. Okay. Now it probably says something like uh, five minutes, but um, it's a lot quicker than that when you get back. This jetpacking thing here, like that. Takes away about half the time. But we're only really about a couple of minutes away, three minutes maybe. Do we have any oxygen? Running low on oxygen too, are we? Okay. Let's 
scan for uh, graves too as we go by because if you don't, well, that's when you're going to miss it, right? Obviously, obviously, obviously. It is exactly when you will miss it. Well, in my case, it's not. It's not that I forget. Well, it is that I forget. <laughs> I neglect to do it. I just forget. I just kind of get, you know, get kept. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, more of this. Yahoo. Buried technology that's not quite so buried. How about an upgrade? Let's have an upgrade. Come on. Throw it at me. I can take it. The answer is nanites. That's fine. Chip over there. Trading post. Okay, so that's that. We got a bunch of this stuff. I I got a I got an exosuit full of that stuff. See those blue plants there? People will pick those and it will really enhance your um, your exosuit functionality. I'm afraid to use that because every time I've used it, it shoots me straight up and uh, it's kind of unnerving. Okay, you guys are all in line for the trading post, right? So you guys can go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to pretend you guys aren't even there, okay? Because I can't really... Unless I get a landed pilot, which I don't see. Um... I hear the uh, I hear the solars going. I hear the sails going, but that's because they're taking off and landing from the trading post right there, right there actually. Back to a ship. Oh, jeez! I thought those things disappeared after a while. Huh. Okay, that's weird. What did I just grab there? Apparently nothing. Oh, salvage glass. Okay. That, oh, wow. Sentinel weapon shard. That is not my weapon. This is my weapon. And the weapon shard can actually go right here to buffer my 3395. 150. 46 something or other uh, boost on my uh, on my bolt caster. We'll take it. Anytime you get a little boost on your uh, performance there. We need to get away from that trading post because that's that's just a uh, a false uh, a false negative or a false positive I should say. Just sounds like solars are taking off and landing uh, randomly on the ground, but they're not not at all. We'll get away from that and look what we found here. Another drop pod. We'll take that. Seeing as we're having a bit of trouble with our inventory, only because we're hoarding. No, we're not, we're not, no, no. Uh, yes, yes we are, yes. Yes we are, I, okay, admission of guilt, I hoard. <laughs> uh, uh, what the hell? Okay, so now we can do this. Oh, we can't even do this. Wow. All right, dust. Okay. Not with that, though. Maybe this guy? 
Maybe with the mining beam. There you go. Smarten up, buddy. Okay, we'll, we'll um, grab this, do that and that. We don't have any sodium nitrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some. Not that key, though. Not that button. Uh, okay, how about we put a little bit. It is throw a little bit of sodium in there. Twenty. That's enough for two pods. We'll go ahead and uh, refine that. Just wondering how my thumb is doing here. It's insidious, you know. It doesn't even feel like it's bleeding, and then you look down, and it's you got blood everywhere, right? It's like. Yeah. Okay, that, put that back here, that back in here, let's throw this here, we'll get another grab down here, and we're good to go. Now that cost us a little bit of launch fuel, but um, I think that's a good investment. Anytime you're increasing your inventory capacity. You're investing in the future. <laughs> All right, Marty. You tell it like it is, bud. Now. I don't know if I could have better luck than that. Two pods in a space of a few minutes like that. Yeah, I could have better luck than that for sure. I could have a crash starship, a uh, crash solar, yeah. I could have a, uh, a glyph here somewhere. That would be nice. Is it only because I'm going too fast? Is it? I don't even know where to look. Right? You got all these uh, these symbols, these icons flashing up past on the uh, on the compass on the top of the screen and. I barely have time to see what it is. Most of the time I don't. Most of the time I don't even see it. Let alone recognize it. But they do go up. That's uh, pretty much true. You'll get the little icons for a number of different things. Flashing across your compass. There's a green one. That's the plants. That's those bright red or orange plants that you see over there in front of us to our left. Uh, these guys, I think. Let's watch when we go over. It's going to get a bunch. And there you go. There's a whole bunch of them, right? I don't think this one gives one, but let's just see. The one we're going over now. You can actually... Uh, oh, they do give icons. Okay. So you can actually consume those to um, replenish your life support or hazard protection. One or two. Fire barrier. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. Might be getting my games mixed up here. <laughs> If we could fly over like this, problem is, though, as soon as you kind of want to raise the ship at all, it ends up back down at the bottom of the screen, totally blocking your view, right? Like, yeah. Lots of places where a, a grave could go here, but, you know, I guess they can't put them everywhere, can they? 
That's a uh, very technology there. Blue Pentagon. Baseball home plate shaped thing. I'm just going to refresh my browser over there, just for shits and giggles. Okay. I guess everybody was already subscribed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep, we're having a pretty chill Friday night stream here. Uh, this is unusual for me. I don't usually stream on Friday. At all. Uh, four days a week for me, and plus uh, most Saturday mornings, too. Saturday morning, I I reminisce. I, um... I miss the, uh, the Saturday morning cartoons, eh? Bugs Bunny and... Looney Tunes and all, all that business. Woody Woodpecker. I know that sounds wrong, but he was a hoot. And, um... Yeah, miss all that stuff from my youth. I said, well, you know what? Why don't we just try a little bit of a Saturday morning cartoon of our own? It's called No Man's Sky. And this is how it works. That's a survival playthrough I got going on there. It used to be permadeath, but um, some months ago, I think it was when the uh, update came out in October that uh, um, basically um, nerfed all our uh, our inventories and our abilities and all that stuff. Um, I was caught off guard. I was not expecting. I, I should have, I should have tried to play a little more on one of the other playthroughs first to get more familiar, you know, accustomed to the new way of doing things according to Hello Games. But, um, you know, I just... I, I wanted to uh, see if I could do it, I guess, and uh, it was a uh, an epic fail. The character succumbed to injuries, sustained it in some way or other. I I can't even actually recall what happened, but the uh, the actual video is probably still on my uh, channel there. Um, yeah, whenever that update came out, it was very shortly after that. It might have been actually. Actually, it might have been the same weekend that the uh, the the update came out. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, I started a uh, survival playthrough after that. And that one's been going ever since. But of course, survival. There's nothing. You know, it's not as it's certainly not as uh, tough as uh, permadeath. But now with these new. Uh, new permadeath, new custom modes and all the stuff you can you can really crank up the difficulty, right? That's the idea behind this thing, right? Challenge yourself, you know. If you're used to playing and you've been playing for a while and you're kinda of getting, you know, ho hum, same old, same old, just challenge yourself, right? Oh, well, is this uh Yeah it is. Okay. Let me just uh this thing out right here. That's um, this is um, yeah, ancient data structure for sure. Sentinels are down, so they're not going to bother us, right? I don't remember reloading. Oh, but wait, we have assholes in the sky shooting at us. That's what that sound was. Okay, 
So let's go over here and dig a hole again so they don't shoot us off the ground. Snipe us, strafe us, and a storm. Okay, well, this is a good place to be, actually, because we can very calmly, I hope, we can very calmly do a very calm scan around to see if we have a grave. Matter of fact, we were an hour in now. I think I'm going to go on walkabout for 20 minutes just to see if I can... Uh, what the hell is that? I don't have a freighter. Not mine, I know. It's not mine. Okay, so no graves around here. Not as far as I can tell, anyway. Well, I tell you what. Pretty close. Let's, let's... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Because... Right there. Is not that far away. Sometimes when you get uh, pilots or pirates coming in like that and uh, strafing the ground and stuff, uh, th sometimes those uh, events won't won't always last very long. Yeah, here's that stuff. Do we get a piece of technology or an upgrade or something here? Upgrades, I think these things usually give, right? If anything. And we have more nanites. Nanites are fine. Nanites are good. If you don't have nanites, you can't get anything. Technology-wise, really. Okay, so we're back underground. Waiting for that storm to subside. Those pirates have taken off, I think. I'm going to do one last scan around. See if there's more of that stuff close by. And I'm going to pick a direction to go in. I think I'm, I was going north, so I think maybe I'll keep going north. Yeah. That would probably make most sense to me. Is that where I just... Yeah, I think maybe where I just came from. Yeah, I think so. Storm over yet? Oh, God, no. All right, inventory. <laughs> Let's see, silic, yeah, okay, that can go. Let's put this down here, let's put that down here. Um, that there, okay, that. We do have one blank spot. Storm clearing. Okay. So, we, did we get all the navigation data and stuff here? Did we get too much? I think we did. Two stacks of navigation data when you can't even go into a building to redeem it. And it's only worth... A thousand units each. Oh my. Um... Okay, so one thing I want to make for sure is that the Starship launch thrusters are fully charged such that I can summon this thing from wherever it is I end up. We're just going to go on a bit of a walkabout here. Boink. Get something on the ground there. Okay, so this is the deuterium flowers I was talking about. The ones that, uh, yeehaw, look at that. See, they give you a boost, but it, it seems like it's more of a vertical boost than anything else. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I just don't know how to use it properly, you know, because I'm a noob. Oh, do we have a landed pilot? Please, 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 please. Please, 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 slow down, boys. You can't land if you're not slowing down. You asses. She whiz. What 
you got to do, right? I don't know. One glyph now. One glyph later. That would be good. One glyph now. One glyph later. No? Okay. Normal protection is falling. You're right, it is. It is. You're absolutely right. May as well charge this up and get the whole kit and caboodle going back up. Look at that, huh? Isn't that special? No cliff, eh? Want this. Boink. Uh. Subterranean organic structure. Any good? I don't know. What's that shiny blue stuff? Cobalt. Phosphorus, yes. Phosphorus and cobalt. Very early in the game. I remember when I first started playing this. Um, cobalt used to be like everybody's favorite go-to for, uh, you know, getting a few uh, a few dollars in your in your uh, pocket. Very early game, right? Go into a cave, mine all the cobalt out of it. Get somewhere where you can uh, sell it and uh, make a few dollars enough to get whatever chip, multi tool, whatever. Now, geez, that's not worth anything, apparently. Certainly not worth your time. That away, huh? You went that away. I see a big pile of oxygen over there, too. I'm going to grab right on our path. So go for it, right? Get over there. Actually, that's a special plant, I think. It's considered a different iteration than the single oxygen plant. And here it is. Now, gotta keep in mind we have a uh, online pilot solar there. I guess he's not interested in landing. Arkin Bastich. I don't remember what movie that's from, but it was really funny. That I do remember. Yeah, we're doing for oxygen here. Three stacks. Okay, well, 
let's just start with doing that. Boost that back up. I don't think we need three stacks of oxygen. I don't, you know, I, I don't want three stacks. I don't want three stacks of oxygen. I'm just, I'm just hoping there'll be a land of pilot here somewhere. I don't even care what he's flying. It'd be nice if it was a solar. Maybe I could buy it. I don't know. I got enough money to buy a solar for sure, I think. Might have enough money and collateral to, uh, to buy an exotic, but... This stuff you can use as well for uh, one of high, uh, one of hazard protection or life support. I don't know which one. I think the wheat is for life support, but I'm not sure. So we're going to get probably more salvage data down here. Let's see. Can we dig it out? I think that's about it then, right? We're full. We're absolutely full, and now we're going to get a message. Inventory full, or whatever it is. Got to get rid of that first. <laughs> Make up, Marty. Nope, not this time. No super for you. Oh, what? 50,000 for that. Holy crap. That's why you get scanner upgrades, my friend. So you can really haul in the bucks. Okay. Building over there. Don't know what it is. We should go check it out. Could be a crash ship. Could be, because crash ships are identified as unknown buildings. No graves on. Various deposit. Colossal waste of time. Um, speaking of colossal waste of time. It's going to be that. It's got to be that because I want more. I want more of this. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it. There you go. One, two. If I haven't hadn't interacted with this, we would know what we were in for. Let's see, we're going that way. But the building is over there. To the east. That's okay. We're just gonna kinda go up to the crest of the hill here. See if we can see what it is, and then we will we can see what it is. And it's a, a manufacturing facility. I can tell because there are dead sentinels here. So well, let's see if we can. Uh... Now, apparently, I'm not allowed in that building. Unfortunately, because that'd be a great place to pick up some tech. Okay, what did I just do there? We got a few stacks of that, right? Okay, boss, what do you got in here? What do you got in the box, boys? Oh, something else. Okay, well, we freed up a box. We're going that way. That's great because that's almost on the way. Graves. Not going there again. Nope. Oh, here's one of our un 
found creatures. And this is a manufacturing facility. I don't know why they keep saying it's unknown. It is known. Yeah, got it. We got two minutes and ten seconds. That's all kinds of time. Another building back there. How far? This is completely in the wrong direction, I know. But uh, I'm really curious to know what's back here. That's a transmission tower, okay. That is not a secured facility. These snapping plants will take a piece out of you. Um, that is not secured and it's not allowed either in this playthrough. So, I want to... My cat in here chewing on wires again. A bugger. Oh, my cat loves to chew on wires. I should almost monetize this channel just to pay for him. But, for now, really just a hobby. Now, looks like there's two, uh, two streams of smoke coming from here. Are there two damage machinery? Well, let's see. There's salvage data here. Why not? Oh, you're going to make me dig it out, are you? Fine. There you go. Doug. Doug. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's right there. Look at that. There are... whoop a lie. Got to get on that. Oh, you're going to make me dig this one out, too. Weapon charge depleted, eh? So it is. Okay, now we get lots of this stuff. <laughs> what? 4%? Excuse me? What? That's not what I asked. I want to recharge the thing. Not to 4%? Yeah, bonehead game. Okay, what do we got in here? No space left in inventory. Now there's another one there. Oh, there's another one there. Because there's two. See, they're kind of... They're kind of melted into each other. And there's the nanites from the second one. All right. Ship, 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 I chips. It's a hauler. You can just keep right on going there, bud. Actually, no. You should land, because I got stuff to sell you. Boy, do I have stuff to sell you. Um, okay, so... Sort out my multi-tools here at some point. I already mentioned that. Graves. La grave, uh, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. You don't want no graves, Marty. I want grave for. Don't be silly. So this is the 
Fireberry, I did get it right. Oh. Well, I guess surprises happen every day. More Fireberry. I think that one is for your, uh, your hazard protection, but... Should get me over that snapping plant. Actually, those have uh, those have oxygen in them. Now, hang on a second. Okay, so I was looking at that unidentified, eh? A TV show called Unidentified. I don't know. History. Inventory full. What? Okay, we're going to need another one of these for sure at some point. What do you mean inventory full? There's an empty slot right there. What are you talking about? Okay, this game is cheating me. I've just uh, surmised. Okay, got that. Is that? Yeah, okay, that's a new one. Another one over here. Let's see if there's anything in here first. Probably nanites. At least. And we got this. Yup, and I got more, more planes. Oh shit, it's a pirate. Comes back, I got a duck inside. Yeah, got it. Duck underground. Hey, ducks don't live underground. <laughs> this one does. <laughs> this one does. Wonder if he's still bleeding. And what did I just pick up? Silly. Okay. Well, maybe this is a good time to uh That's the one I just picked up, isn't it? It is. And there's some technologies here I want. There's um, I think I might already have that, but if I don't, that's a good one. Pulse spitter. Advanced mining laser I definitely want. Uh, I almost try to fix this one up a little bit. But I'm not interested in finding a quad servo. Oh, actually, yes, I am. Now that I got the sentinels uh, knocked out, if I get, if I come by a building, a secured facility, that um, is guarded by quads, they will off themselves. That's right, too. And that just means that we're going to get a quad servo out of that. Be able to fix that thingy. just happened there just got something that sound means you got something was it just salvage data no way what? deflector shield what deflector shield my oh ship deflector shield okay same thing with this one right yeah that's all uh Starship stuff. 
Okay. This way to the left. That, that. No grave. Another plant, an edible plant. It will replenish something. So the jetpack gets its power from life support. Let's see, as soon as I use the jetpack, the three. Back at it, Maria. Waving hand sign. Back at it, yes. I mentioned that last night, right, Chakana? Thanks for coming to the stream, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we uh, we're still on the planet we were on last night that I ended up off last night. I was saying something about wanting to find a um, a paradise moon, but there's something else I would really, really like to find first, and that's a solar. So we are in a pirate system. Uh, I, I flew around for a little bit earlier, and uh, I've been walking around here for probably half an hour now, and of course... Nothing doing, right? You know, because I'm not shock and awe that finds a crashed ship in 25 minutes. Ra ra ra. <laughs> no. 24. Sorry, did I say 25? <laughs> yeah. You, uh, you take you you took on my luck. Yeah, you you took on my luck. Ah, you know what? Makes for a uh... rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> well, let's go up this way. Yeah, let's fall into that cave, why don't we? Six thousand feet down or something ridiculous. Okay, I'm going north, so let's go that way. Uh, I did find a glyph last night at the end of the stream. I, th I th think it was last night at the end of the stream. I do have... Uh, I, I Is do... there an airless planet in that pirate system? Um, let me check. That's not airless. I don't think so. Why airless planets are uh, just as good as uh, paradise ones? Are there are there graves on airless planets? I guess is what I'm asking. Because I know about about airless planets, sort of. Um, I know your jetpack can carry you forever. Well, just, well, maybe not forever, but for quite some time. And you can just look, you know, you can jetpack and scan as you go, right? We're finding a crashed solar. Oh, I see. On an airless planet, yeah? Is that a thing? Airless planet in a pirate system, eh? It has been for me. Okay. I will. Uh, I will keep that open as a second option behind the paradise planet. I 
I see one that has an airless planet, then that may work as well then. I think I've already uh, been in a system with an airless planet and pirate system. Just never occurred to me that there could be a crashed ship there, I guess. Okay, here we got nothing, we got nothing, more nothing, a little bit more nothing over that way. Okay, where's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not my, uh, wait now, is that my weapon? No, that's my scanner. jammed in here. Noise. Look at that. More buried technology that's not quite buried. Okay. Uh, we gotta go over there because we don't know what that is. It's probably just a stick in the mud, but Nevertheless, we should go and investigate. Because, uh, could easily be something of interest. Speaking of something of interest, uh, my inventory is really full. Use your building finding thing. Forget what it's called while on the airless planet. Words hard. And a pilot, and a pilot. And about it, please, 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 please. <sighs> Damn. You mean uh, this thing? Is that what you meant? Oh, it's yeah. an observatory. Found an observatory. Or transmission tower, sorry. That's no good. That's not doing us any good. I don't suppose... No, that's not what's over here. What's over here? Well, it's tucked in nicely over there, whatever it is. Stick in the mud, huh? Gee whiz. Okay, well, stick in the mud is a stick in the mud, right? And no grave. Unknown grave. Not going over there. Nothing. Oh yeah, really gonna plummet now. Daytime. Daytime on the planet from hell. Planet from hell. And uh, the planet from hell that has oceans. Bizarre. Just bizarre. It's like Mars, except it's got vast oceans. <laughs> what? Wait, what? a little ways and do a 280 270 
300. Features, join the day. Yep, still at it. <laughs> still at it. Let's go up on the hill, on the knoll. If we can uh, spot something. Come on, Solar's Landing. Yes! Oh my god. Watch, he won't get out of his ship. Just watch this guy not get out of his ship. He did get out. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Yay! Okay. Trade first. Sell. <laughs> Buy all my crap, please. Bones, bones. I'm going to sell him this too, I think, but I think I got enough to uh, buy his ship already. 41 and a half. Not going to use that or that or that or that. Or that. Okay, what else? Uh, two Sentinel boundary maps we picked up a little while back there. Um, nice. Thumbs up sign. Yeah, this has been a lot. 32 hours before, uh, before tonight's stream. That's how long I've been doing this thing. First solar. <sighs> been a while. What else are we gonna get him? Forty-three million. I don't even know what kind of ship you got there, bud. And you know what? I don't really care. Make an offer. He's got a C class. Ten million. Hell yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna trade him with one of my crappy ships. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna cost me even less. Let's just put that right over there. Let's bring in. This guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you run away. C class. Oh, 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 oh. More bones. Guess what, bud? You're buying more bones. <laughs> I didn't realize I had put that there. That's just too funny. Actually, I gotta go over to the. Uh... Oh. Can't sell him stuff off my ship? What? Really? Well, you know what? I can't take that chance. I gotta buy his ship now. I'll put the bones on it after. And I think I might sell this, uh... I might sell this, uh... I might sell that, uh, solar as well. Just to see if I can get into my own inventory. Did I mention I my thumb's been bleeding for three hours? I got a little hangnail, and I'm on blood thinners, right? I got a little hangnail, and it uh, it won't stop bleeding. I got a bandaid on it now. I think it stopped, but really hard to tell because you can't see through it. 
not bleeding out through the band-aid i don't think well, at least there's that yeah isn't that bizarre eh? well, i can't take this into the uh, space station but i can surely take everything out of here and then sell it in the space station okay what else we got in here i think that's pretty much it eh yeah okay all right then this is actually not a bad looking solar i bet it's c-class well it'll it'll work for our purposes that's for dang sure Log loss explains why you sound so loop at the night. Probably. On the floor laughing, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not wrong. Efficient, efficient thrusters, eh? Uh, I got one space left for that. Look at that. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I guess that's it, eh? I, sh I should, I got no weapons to put on this thing though. I do have some shielding, which might help uh, if I get murderized or something. Two forty-eight, two fifty-four. It's not great, but. Okay, uh, goes here. And he won't stay on. Okay. Space station it is, right? I should have called in the rest of my ships first, actually. You know what? I think I will. Just to make sure I, uh, I get rid of all the junk. Um, let's see if we can find a, uh, a grave. Graves won't show up like this, will they? Ship scanner? I don't think I've ever found a grave with a ship scanner. of time. Jeez, we're almost two hours in. And, well, I'm going to be at this past midnight, I'm sure. Saturday morning cartoon might have to take a dump tomorrow. Might have to take a break off that. Can't tell which way to turn here. That's the worst thing. I don't know where to look. I mean, I, I would figure it'd be like a small bowl like depression. All right, Marty. Hurry can't stay longer tonight, but I gotta jump off. I'll catch you later if you're going waving hand sign all right shocking out thanks for popping in bud smash the like button there on your way out and uh yeah for sure we'll catch you on a rebound um later this evening tomorrow or some other time 
Sounds like a plan. Cheers, bud. Take care. And uh, we will see you. Thumbs up sign. Thanks for popping in. And if you don't see me, it's probably because I bled out through a hangnail on my thumb. <laughs> Just kidding. It'll never happen, right? Loopy, loopy, loopy. I just can't, I can't find those things. I don't know why. Um, they are just so hard to find. Oop, didn't mean to do that. What are you shooting at, Marty? Oh, nothing. Just uh, birds, you know. Something cooked for dinner or whatever, right? Uh, -huh. uh yeah. Shallow depression. So you will find the grave. The traveler. What are you talking about? Well, of course, you know, never rains, but it frickin' well pours. Oh wait, this thing. This thing has a pilot stand, standing next to it. Ah, uh, fucking bastich. What do we got here? Monolith or a plaque? Uh, now I'm looking for water. I am looking for water. Where's all the water on this planet? Some over there. Can't be enough water. I better not tangle with these pirates right now because this ship is not equipped for a, a dog fight. Let's just go sideways a little bit. West, I guess, as it were. That's coming overhead, is it? Coming at me, are ya? I can see lots of water over here. Okay. I think we might be able to get all the creatures on this planet. Usually means copious amounts of upgrades. This thing down on the shore here somewhere. Somewhere I can call in my other ships. Let's 
scan around for a grave first. You never know. Come on, man. Really? You guys go ahead and amuse yourselves there while I, uh, Oh, shit. What the hell? It's hitting me down here. I'm at, I'm at water level here. What's all the screaming? I wondered out loud. Still able to hit me? I got three blanks there. I'm going to have a whole bunch of blanks shortly. Nothing in here. Although, have any pyrite? I got some in my, my shuttle. I think that guy left. Yeah, that was attacking me with no unfounded blah, blah, blah. Unprovoked. It's gone. Okay, so the shuttle go here. Shuttle is this guy. He has he has some pyrite I can use and some uranium. Jeez, he doesn't have a lot of uranium. Do I not have more of that here? I do not. Wow. Well, for sure, I would have. Some more of that up. Um, the Gek relics don't really have much purpose, but for sale. These things do have a purpose. You're in a Viking system, you're looking for a portal, and you go to a, uh, a monolith. I think you need a Viking dagger to dig that out. Or convergence cube at a, in a Corvax system? I don't know. You might not need one in a Corvax system. There's one of those you don't need. You don't need anything in it. That I will put on. Well, I would have. sure what I'm doing with that. I don't have one of those ships. Trading. Oh yeah. Okay. This is the ship I'm going to the uh, space station with. Let's put all that up there for sale, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of it. Um, what else is for sale? This. This. that. That's not for sale, but I'll put some in there. 
Because you never know. Might need that stuff. Okay, that's good enough for that ship. Um, let's put... Uh, let's put this guy here. I don't think there's anything in that one. No, but it's a viable ship. I must have bought that off. Man, I think he may, may have had an upgrade or something that I wanted. Must have bought that off a pilot. Well, there's this guy. Can't bring him in. This guy. This guy I can bring in. What's the story with this guy? Okay, so that's a found crash ship. Obviously, obviously. Okay. That one needs to be just toast. Not fixing that. C-class fighter. Never gonna happen. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, that's that guy, right? That's him. We got this explorer. Which I don't know what the story is behind either. Oh, it's a bee. That guy's worth a little bit of a fortune. Well, fortune. Yeah? Kinda is. Kinda is a big deal. And then we have this guy. Who is our inventory. Well, Sort of. Although, um, I have a funny feeling he may end up being Forda, Canon Forda. Up for grabs, too. Up for grabs. What is this? Can I fix that? No. Why is it all lit up? I don't know. That one, that one, that one, and that one are for sale. This one has been my go-to. Stay one, pretty much. Put that over here. Put that over here. All the rest of this stuff is quite possibly for sale, uh, including that. May as well get rid of that. These eight things are for sale. That'll leave enough room for plenty of scrapping. Okay, so the order would be this guy, then this guy. This guy, and then this guy. Okay, I think we're all set. Off to the space station. The fugitive. Still only got two uh, two glyphs though. Oh, what a nice ship! With the half moon uh, half moon sails. Oh. button Marty. That's my MO. Wrong button. <laughs> All right. 
yeah, our solars is concerned. Not a bad looking ship. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not terrible looking for sure, but um, C class. Let's see if I can upgrade it in here. Because we got all kinds of, we have all kinds of financial support. First space station of the game, look at that. That's something. You hear the music? I don't know if you hear the music. I do. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I had the game, the game audio turned off. Now you should hear the music. That's the first space station of the game music. Alright, what do you guys got in here? The answer is a big cannon. A crappy one. So... Um, would you like to trade your sheep for mine? C-Class 3018. That's just two slots better than this one. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to dump all our bones off on this poor unsuspecting bloke. Like that, like that, that, and... That, 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 that. There you go. And then we're going to dump our nanotube crates. And then we're going to dump our Corvax casings, get relics. That's enough for now. What do we got here? Another C? Wow. Nothing but seas. Nothing but net. It's mine there, right? Is it not? Doesn't it say when it's yours? Oh, you bastard. Oh, I wonder, can I buy this thing? Offer to trade. Negotiate. I can't. I can trade mine for this one. I'll have two million, which is not enough to buy another one. Uh, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. So it's a twenty-five, twenty-two. Got a lot of tech slots. Mine only has seventeen, nineteen. You just gotta let go of the, uh, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. This is my favorite little flying ship right here. A little guppy with, a little unassuming guppy. A little exotic that could, and that did, and that would. If I stand here, will you? If I get here, will you go away? Um, 2.8 million, eh? So that would leave me with probably 5 million. Um, and I don't have any other source of income. I 
else in here is worth a whole lot. I'm just gonna stand here for a bit. See if he uh, disappears. Mine is worth 10, and that's not a very good one. I only have 5 million, I won't be able to buy it. Buy another one. If I try to sell mine, he'll disappear. He's gone. Is he gonna leave anyway? Even though I'm standing on a ship? I'm trying to see if another solar will come in. A really cheap one. I had a couple of cheap ones in here, but I don't know how much they were. I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to that. Let's roll the, uh, let's roll this thing here, because, you know, it is free, and I'm at 99 subscribers, and I'm just wondering if I can get one more tonight, just for shits and giggles. surprised the guy just doesn't look up, stare up at me and, hey, are you going to get off my ship or uh, what's going on there? Oh, 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 that's not a solar. I can't leave, I can't leave this station without a solar. I need to make sure I can buy one. And all I will have is like 5 million units. Mine is a cheap solar and it's 10. So I, I got a funny feeling. This is not going to happen. Let me just... I got two point... What? One, two... Two point... Whatever. Let's see. What is it I got there? Two point eight million. Roughly 2.8 million there. Um, don't think anything else is really worth a whole lot in my inventory. Well, there's these, but it's not worth like. So that's the cheapest one, I think. So... I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. The only way I could buy this ship if I sold several of mine. And he's going to be gone. He's going to leave. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell... I'm going to sell this one and see if I can come up with something a little better. I know he's going to leave now. That's just the way it is, right? So now I'm just wondering what's going to re get replaced. So, okay. I can sell that one too. It's the shuttle. The shuttle I can't sell. really gonna 
He's out. He's not gone already, but he'll be gone for sure shortly. There he goes. Dang it. <laughs> I suppose he might come back. I don't know. Um. Okay, so... Yeah. That's pretty sad. That's gone. Compressed indium scraps, subatomic regulators. Now well, it's taken up. Oh, I see. Upgrades. This guy. So this guy needs to buy this, this, and this. Hyperdrive pulse engine thrusters. No, not getting rid of that. Not so fast. That's just a C, right? Yeah. So I will have enough money to buy a decent solar, I think, before this is all said and done. It's just a question of, uh, is one going to come in, right? We're going to sell our, our upgrades over here, because that's what we do. This one, this one, this one. Then we sell our scrap over here, because that's what we do. Sell... Cables, subatomic regulators. Is it? I guess so. Yeah, you see, now I got 40 million units plus the 2.8. Okay, this one got to go too. So as long as the shuttle doesn't show up, we can just keep sh keep selling ships here. Flame scrap. Yeah. What's next? Ah, uh, it's the shuttle. Okay, I've stopped. Okay, now sell. This. This. I may as well sell that because I don't. I'm not going to use them. Okay, what do we got? Forty-five million. Buddy's ship was only... How much was Buddy's ship? 36 or something, wasn't it? I would have had to be... I would have had to be on the ball to sell these ships first. Okay, now I gotta buy solar to get out of here. And that's just the way the rules work. I wonder what happens... Okay, this is not, what do they call this, save? Saves coming? Is that what that is? That's not considered saves coming, is it? If I reload, I don't think so, eh? I gotta get a solar first anyway. No matter what, because uh, I can't get out of here without a solar. So the next, not the next maybe, but the next one that I like. Sea class fighter. I, I like I like the shape of this one. Absolutely, the big thruster, the two little side thrusters, the fuselage, the short fuselage with the the bubble canopy. I like that one. And here's another one just like it. There's his twin. Which one is this? The C2617, 2718. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. Gotta be patient here for a moment. And then we'll go and see if we can find a, a paradise, uh, paradise planet somewhere. Hopefully a moon. Or an airless planet, I think Shakunama was saying. An airless planet in a pirate system. That would also work, apparently. Although he said that was for crash ships. I'm not, not even looking for a crash ship anymore. I'm just looking for two glyphs. So I think Paradise Moon or Paradise Planet would do. You have a couple of Sentinel... Uh, 
sentinel boundary maps, so that might also um, that might also might also come in handy. It might. Oh, I hear a solar. I think. Is that what I hear? Maybe it's one of the guys falling off the scaffolding or something. Or fire barrel up there. Oh, fine. oh, there's a nice ship too. Holy crap. Nice ships coming in here. You would not stand a chance against my Obayasta, f Obayasta Frost. You, I would make mincemeat out of you. And there's a explorer. Ironic. Yeah. Um, can use this too, actually. Oh, it's got to go. You got to go over here. So I have an explorer and a hauler that I fail to sell, and perhaps even a fighter. Um, almost got enough to upgrade from a B to an A. That might be an option. Get a B class solar and upgrade it to an A. Oh. Gotta get a solar first, though. <laughs> There's one. Hey. What are you? What are you? What are you? You are a C. 29.17 is what I had. This one is worth 9 million. I think I will... How many nanites do I have? We're 940 nanites away from being able to upgrade from a B to an A. That's two of these. There's four here. There's two of these and two of these. Uh, do I have anything else in here? I do. Ooh. Okay, there's that too. Sentinel. Still suit fragment. Now I think, yeah, I have these here. Oh. What are they? Shield and they're not very good, but... Ah, uh, you know, you can only have three. <sighs> yeah, we'll wait. Don't know if I want to use all my nanites on that, though. there be another uh, pretty little ship coming by. <laughs> I wish I'd sold my ships before. Dang. Fourteen blanks there. this ship. Not gonna happen. Gotta get a solar and get out of here. Go find a decent planet. This thing really, really low on uh, tech slots though. Same 
shit that was in here a minute ago. Scoot, scoot, scoot. You can get out of here too, bud. Oh, am I standing too close to you? Is that it? How about if I stand back here? On one of my thrusters. Here you go. See you later. See you later, bud. So, the fugitive. You are watching the fugitive. Um... I'm going to play as long as I can this evening. Uh, probably another hour and a half, two hours, I don't know. Um, if it doesn't happen this evening, I am considering one last stream tomorrow evening. And then next week I'm getting into Expedition 10. Uh, my regular Tuesday and Thursday No Man's Sky streams will be for Expedition 10. So, uh, tune in for that. I don't know if anybody in chat has uh, partaken in that particular adventure, but it's uh, it's kind of cool. I, uh, I've started an off-stream uh, playthrough, and I um, kind of like it. It's very Sentinel and uh, Sentinel-centric, so to speak, uh, I think. You know, you gotta go to the cat encampments and stuff like that. <sighs> Pardon me. I don't know if I'm gonna make it for the next half hour, let alone hour and a half. <laughs> See how it goes. Two are we doing two and a half hours in right now? Okay. Started streaming two hours ago. No, it was two and a half hours ago. Oh, there we go. Got a solar. See, this one is even worse. Eight million. Mm. It's getting worse as we go. Not better, it's getting worse. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one. Get out of town. Get out of town. You, my friend, just sold your ship. S Class Solar. Uh, I just can buy that. Thank you. 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 Okay. Um, now that we got a nice ship. Doesn't have a whole lot of slottage though, that's the worst thing. Uh, we can... Uh, we can make it so that it's... Kind of... Oh. What? Did I leave in here? Did I leave anything in here? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna bring these over. We are going to bring this over with the pulse engine. over for the launch thrusters. I think that's good. 
no upgrades in here that we can this is going to be our go-to anyway I think maybe because the other one there really doesn't have the space right even if we um, even if we throw another uh, hex slot at it it's and I'm gonna do that actually but even that's not gonna you know give it a whole make a whole lot of difference so we'll upgrade the ship by augmentation because I do have one and I'm gonna put it I think I'm gonna put it here. Oh fudge! That's the shuttle. Ah, uh, what a dick! Gee whiz! I'm just not what I meant to do. I meant to upgrade this guy. Oh well. Okay. What do we have that we can put into this thing? Okay, we have... Okay, hyperdrive stuff. Not that that matters because we're not, we're not taking that thing out of the system. That's not the plan. Pulse engine. Sure. Oh, is that part of the pulse engine mechanism? It looks like it's, uh, uh... It is buffing with that, eh? Okay, yeah, so that's weird. Pretty maneuverable like that. Doesn't have a whole lot of range. Uh, what else? This is thrusters, eh? Let's put that here, let's put that there, let's put that there. Okay. What else is coming in here? Alright. It's time to fly the coop. Let's put some of this stuff in here. There's some thruster stuff there, launch thrusters. That and that. This for the pulse engines. That and that. This for the shields. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Ships keep coming in now, right? I'm not even out of the station. Rat detected. You're an ass. Oh, and I like this one too. Very nice. Fissured, eh? Fissured. Terraforming catastrophe. That one has the dissonance on it. If we're gonna get a, um, <laughs> we're gonna get a. Uh, you know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Get an interceptor. Maybe that's one thing we can do this evening. And then when we do continue this uh, playthrough tomorrow, we will have a nice, really nice vessel to um, to travel with, rather than a shuttle. Let's see, let's go around. Go around the sunny side. Call it? Terraforming catastrophe. 
terraforming catastrophe and it's dissonant? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. One of these. Oh. Well, I mean, for what we're going to do here, this isn't, uh, this isn't uh, a catastrophe. As it, uh, as its namesake implies. Come on, put away your sails, please. Thank you. Okay, because we gotta fly down into the valley. See if we can find some drills. thing has what? 292? Well, that's not terrible. Oh, I did get it. Okay, good. Um, it's a couple crystal shards around, too. Very important. Okay, what did that give me? This and this. That's it, eh? No echo locator? Eh. Of course not. Gonna land? Not gonna land, are you? Nope, I'm stuck here. Look at that. We didn't know it. Gonna have to start over. Gonna have to uh, reload here. This thing is just not moving. Come on, come on, come on. Get down, get down. At a wedding so and stay, I had to pop in for a like. Hey. Up sign. Hey, Delta. Have a great stream. Thanks for popping in, Delta. Cheers, bud. Have a good time. Yeah. You ever see this? Ship that uh, is trying to land but won't? <laughs> anyway. Take care, man. Alright. Restart. No. We're going to just uh, reload. 37. That's just a minute. Yeah. Butter reload. Yep. Just did. No choice. Oh, oh, gee whiz. Why don't you just surprise me with that? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap. Shoot the damn drill. Don't be shooting everything else except the drill. Shoot the damn drill. Oh, okay. Still didn't get what I was looking for. I'm not even going to bother to try to land there this time. I'm going to go somewhere else. Next valley. Oop. Next to the next to the next valley. Uh, fun with sentinels, huh? Nespa. Yep. 
Don't you think? Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna bring out your sails because what? These mountains are too freaking high. I think that's what it is, eh? Now you need to put your sails away. See? See how that works? Still looking for a drill. That one right there? I don't think so, eh? Oh yeah, things spawn in as I as I pass over them. Nice. Just frickin' nice. We'll deal with it as we can. Well, these radiant shards here need to be harvested as well. Um, that's what I was trying to do the last time. And I had to reload. Okay, let's see if he lands here this time. Oh my god, he's gonna land. I don't believe it! Oh my! Okay, I see what's going on here. This is like a uh, an airless place. This is a perfect place to uh, to wander around if it was a little flatter. Like this, though. It's just shite. Advanced mining laser. Okay, advanced mining laser. So. Uh, let's put you here, you there, you here, you're the scanner, right? Yeah, you there, you there, you there, you there, you there, and let's see, uh, nope, wrong key, wrong key, there we go. So we picked up this guy which has an advanced mining laser. But, let's see, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't even think it has as many slots as the other one. I'll tell you what, though. If um, I can clean some of this up, I'll use this one. But, as of right now... I got three, got three S class upgrades. I got another one, or and of course I wanna, wanna get the uh, the bolt spitter off this thing. Okay, the tool is mm, no, it's this one. Yeah, I think it's that one. Yes, it is. Can I fix either of these? Not quite. Okay. Advanced mining laser goes here. And but a boom but a bing. Two. Three. Four. And a few living fragments. And another radiant shirt. Okay. How many is that? That is five. That's enough to get one um, interceptor. Pretty sure. Gotta get like a bunch of this stuff too, right? Alright. 
echo locator. That's what we're looking for. Echo locator. Whoa, that's an ominous kind of. I'm gonna open up his sails again. Just watch. Oh, maybe he won't. Yeah. <laughs> open him up and shut him back down. strafe the ground here and pick up that stuff. I can't pick up the radiant shards by strafing the ground. That's advanced mining laser. I don't know if, is there an onboard ship deck that you can use for that, I wonder? valley just over here I think we'll give it a crack in here too now is this one was bigger I think it'll do it might do hard to say till you get into it shards there. I don't see a drill yet. Oh, of course, everything's just spawning in now. Sentinels, eh? That mean Atlantidium.
little bit more. He doesn't seem too bothered by all this. Okay. Whoa, but I maybe he is. Yeah, I guess he is, yeah. <laughs> I love that. When you got a, a low air planet or some kind of effect like that. Your jetpack just takes you and... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. We got this. Hello. Oh, not close enough, am I? Sorry about that there, big time. Now, now I'm close enough, right? Okay. We got uh, inverted mirror. We got... Some more of this. What else do we have? Pertinent. That's not pertinent, but we got it anyway. Okay. Let's see if we can find another inverted mirror. I think that will probably do the trick, but... Um, yeah, and now you're definitely... Definitely gonna open up your sails now, right? Let's take it away a little bit. Wonder if this whole planet is like this. I must be uh, sad if it was. should have swapped out to my shuttle, but I didn't. I guess maybe we will see what this thing is made of. Maybe we won't, because I don't see him anymore. planet is like this, pretty much. Is that it over there? What is that? It's gotta be a drill that looks like sentinels. Or maybe not. I think I know what that is. That's the autophage or the uh, scrap stuff there. you can pick up there, though. Nice goodies. Let's try. How many are here? Just a moment. Keeping the pugnium because um, it's fuel for the sentinel something or other. Most things sometimes they have uh, rocket brains. And I saw a drill over there. Oh, 
Although, they have a, there's a drill right over there. They have their own little icons. The drills do. So I'm gonna go over and pummel that one out of existence. too. So, uh, time to, uh, break in some rewards here. Yeah, all these little guys. see any other drills. Should just go somewhere else. But I'm pretty sure we did not get an echolocator off that. I did not see one up on pop one up on the screen, but it's not because it didn't, it's because I didn't see it. <laughs> it's two different things. Generally speaking, those drills will either render an inverted mirror or an echolocator. I think the echolocator, the chance of that is probably one to four or five, maybe six, I don't, I'm not sure exactly. It could be one to four or five. Might be as low as one to six, I don't, I'm not sure. You've got to be on a dissonant planet to get it. The best way, the best place, the best distant planets you're going to find are in uh, pirate systems. So if you're looking for these echolocators, I would highly recommend you look in a pirate system. Because uh, your opposition will be uh, muted to some extent. Don't ask me why or how, you just are. If you do this in a regulated system, regulated space, uh, not a pirate system, the sentinels will attack you. Uh, from my experience now, right? It's just my opinion here. Uh, I've been attacked when doing this in regulated systems, so I stopped doing that. Uh, as recommended by, of course, uh, Taylor at Whiskey Barrel Gaming. He is the one that I heard that from first. Credit where credit is due, of course. I try to give credit to those who deserve it, basically. Uh, that's where I heard it. I don't know if that's, if he heard it somewhere else. Um, I can't tell you that, but that's where I heard it. 
that was a good five, six weeks ago probably. Because of course Sentinel Interceptors have been on the go for a while now. Anybody who doesn't have an, an S-Class Sentinel Interceptor, um, either by finding it or by upgrading an A-Class, um, and is trying, is probably doing something wrong. But there's, um, yeah, there's no reason not to have one if, if, if you're actually looking for one. Do you have an idea of how to get one? Just trying to find another echo locator because I have a funny feeling that I'm going to be finding a C class interceptor. And uh, I know the A class interceptors are out there. They're fairly common, more or less. So, oh, are we getting to a flat spot on the planet? Because if we are, oh my god, this is going to be so much easier now. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. How come I didn't find this before? What the hell, man? Why do you even have that crap? When you can make it beautiful like this. <laughs> this is ugly, actually. It's nothing but dirt and rock. No, not a living thing on this planet. I don't think. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think there is. Well, it's like the moon or Mars, right? There's a, there's a drill. Okay, we'll get that one. Go back over here. Come at it from here. sign of an echo like it or uh, an inverted mirror so that to me tells me I didn't get him okay now he's gone and we got an inverted mirror okay well, let's just keep going up the hill here there will be more whoop not so fast there bud Get your panties in a bunch. There's another one. Wait. I just have such a hard time aiming at targets and in, in in like on the like these targets specifically. seem to aim at the one I'm shooting at. This guy, right? Seems to want to aim at everything except that. And now my... My, uh... The cannons overheat it, right? Now I gotta take another pass. And where was he? Got me. Thought he was up here somewhere, but...
So I like flying in third person like this, because I can usually see more on the planet's surface. But, or whatever's in front of me, planet or space or whatever. But when I'm aiming, I seem to have better luck um, when I'm in first person. But that's, that's debatable, according to what we just witnessed. Sentinel Interceptor to make my journey safer, better ship. They're not very difficult to find. You just got to spend the time and do the things you need to do to find it. So you need to find Echo Locators, which is just basically a device that will... It, it actually finds a Sentinel encampment. The echo locator does. But at the Sentinel encampment, there is a terminal which you can interact with, and it will show you the location of a. I think it's a dissonant spike, is what they call it, which is actually the location of a crashed interceptor. The good thing about the crashed interceptors, of course, is that um, they're undamaged. Bizarrely, they are undamaged, except for one thing, the uh, what they call the brain. And so when you get to the crashed interceptor, you have to dig out the defective brain and go and get it fixed. But again, that is a fairly academic kind of pursuit as well. Um, all you're doing basically is... Um, bringing it to um, a monolith, which then um, renders you back a good brain. Overheated, not so. Okay, wait a second. Let me take another pass at it then. my ship in the ground. You know what? This is not only the nose, but the whole damn ship is going in the ground. Okay, now. Physics, right? Who needs it? Now, where is that thing? Because I need it. Is that it up here? See, I can't see it, right? That's why shoot it. There we go. That's why we have to shoot it in first person. Because I can't see the damn thing through the ship. Right? Can't see it. There's another one. Can't see it. Can't see it. of inverted mirrors, though, I see. Let's 
six so far. Okay. No rush. No rush. Just like I said, I want at least two. Just in case the first one is not what I'm looking for. Another one. I don't want to. I don't want like a whole bunch of interceptors. I want one decent one. So basically, the more echolocators you have, the more chance you have of finding a nice one. So we've struck eight ships, eight, eight drills, sorry, and got two echo loads. That's one out of four. That's what I said earlier, right? That's about, that's about the uh, correct ratio, four or five. flew a piece. Hitch up to that bugger. You know what? I think we might have to uh, leave that quarry uh, behind. So I don't know where it is. Yeah, we'll get the next one. That's yeah, fine. We didn't get it, right? Uh, yes, we did. We got another uh, inverted mirror. Um, I guess we got it. I don't know. spawns in like too close to it you are too close to it by the time it spawns in there's one over there I'm not shooting it now see I'm shooting all the other crap right I gotta take another pass at it
the hell, man? clear of that obstruction there, that big friggin' rock, whatever it is. That thing, or this thing, or whatever it is. No, I lost my, uh, lost my target. Well, where's that it? Oh, it's it there. Now can you shoot the target that I'm aiming at? I'm aiming at this thing. I think it's shooting it now. I get it. Shoot at what I'm aiming at. There. Wow. What is up with this game? Now, of course, I'm overheated. try my luck with two. It's getting late and ah nope nope forget it I want three. I want three because uh, I want three just to make sure and one for next time. I get a C, a B and an A I'll be happy. So those things are worth a small fortune too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's see. Can we shoot what we're aiming at here this time? I think he's aiming at the... Uh... Turn, turn, my god, turn. Don't see him anymore. Oh. Yes. Seriously? Didn't get him? Somewhere. Can't wait. There he is. It's because all the other little buddies are in the way. Yeah. yeah. I'm killing everything but him. I'm shooting straight at him. Getting everything but him. That's fair, right? That's how the game's supposed to be played. Sentinels. Not what I'm aiming at. It's not what I'm aiming at. There you go. Overheat it. Okay, this time I'm going to sit her down. Am I? No, I'm not. Because you can pick them up like that. Get another, another 
inverted mirror. So it's time for a, it's time for an echo locator now. My thumb stopped bleeding though. <laughs> Three hours later. Hang nail. So, if you ever find yourself with um, on heart medication, uh, specifically blood thinners or anticoagulants, whatever you want to call them. Um, you got to try not to cut yourself in any way, shape, or form. Not even a hangnail. <laughs> this little thing bled for three hours. I didn't. I didn't bleed like a stuck pig or anything, but uh, just oozed out just a little tiny bit at a time. But it wouldn't stop. It was. Uh, it was almost surreal. But. how it goes right so anyway one more one more echo locator I think we're due I think we've been getting on a ratio of about three to one inverted mirrors to echo locators so I think we're due I'm just wondering if we're going in the right direction at all because we started off in a direction I got turned around at one point I think so, uh, this planet is, well, when I first got here, it was a real nightmare. It was like mountains, towering mountains. The sails kept opening up in this thing, in this uh, starship. Every time I'd go over uh, to the next valley, it would like open up the sails, right? And now, now we're in a perfect spot. This is just awesome here. Uh, shooting at the shooting at the sentinels. Not sure what's up at that, but no point in going too far around because of course look at that look, they despawn. I don't where is he? I don't know. In there? second pass because weapons are shit. I'm surprised I was able to down that, that hauler a couple of minutes ago. Okay, he's over here somewhere, isn't he? Still can't see him. There he is. Shooting all the sentinels again. Huh? That's not what I'm aiming at, but I'm aiming right there, right in the heart of the uh, of the drill and there's another one I don't get this one I'll get that one This is the right guy. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the other guy. One eleven, one eleven, one eleven. Is that the damage? So I got an echo locator, so I'm gonna have another look here. Suspicious packet. That must have been from the uh, starship we downed. Nope, still got two. Got a bunch of these things. Got a uh, crystallized heart from something or other. That's useful too, I think. Got a bunch of this stuff. Atlantidium. Shit, holy crap. 
now. I don't even remember which direction I was going in. I'm going to try to avoid going back into the mountains because that was just a nightmare. So, let's go east. I'm guessing I can go east and find some more drills. I don't know. Yeah, so a Sentinel Interceptor is definitely, especially if it's an A-Class, it will be a decent ship to um, finish this journey with. I don't know that there are any rules in the uh, playthrough that say you cannot do that. Matter of fact, I think I... Pretty sure I saw several players doing it, getting an interceptor to uh, finish the playthrough. A good thing about the interceptor, another good thing is that they, they can hover pretty much when you're going over a planet like this, they can hover. Oh man, really? You want a piece of me too? Who knew, right? Crappy old solar. Do you win? Not shooting at the scent? No, just so you know. Shooting at the scent? No. There you go. That's better. And another inverted mirror. <laughs> nice flat spot. This seems to go on for a while. There's another one. Load a better ship. <laughs> Something I think may may stand a slightly better chance when we're in a dogfight. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Cyclotron ballista, what's that? Cyclotron cannon. Okay, all this stuff is all good. High hydrogen, yeah. This stuff I should bring with me, or the interceptor, if we are lucky enough to find a good one. Yep, okay. So here what we need is, well, let's see. This has been our go-to ship pretty much all playthrough. It is only a C-Class, but it works uh, pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a three-star dissonant system, regulated space, 
gonna go fish out. Well, if I can find, I suppose, a pirate system, you don't know. No. Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, current mission. Let's just uh, look in this cluster here. Doesn't really matter where you find it. It's a one, a two star dissonant. Well, that was pretty close. Right off the top, here's a one star dissonant. I don't care who the owner is. Viking, Gek or Corvax makes two star. Makes, there's one right there, Corvax three star dissonant. Perfect. I would laugh if there's a, a uh, paradise planet in this system. That would just be too funny. I didn't even look, actually. See how many, if there were any moons or how many there were. What is it? It's four planets. And one is not paradise. Tell me which you are. Tectonic. That's not pleasant. This one is pillared or something stupid like that. Glitch planet. Oh no, it's ammonia. Well, well, well. Okay, what else you got here? planet looks like it could be frozen. Empty. Mm. That's not the dissonant one though. Where's the dissonant one? That's not it. Lines going up here. That's that one. I see lines going over this way. A station. A. I think it's in behind this one. Let's go have a look. Or this way. Yes, and there it is. See? Got the dissonant one as well. It is, let's say, toxic planet. Ammonia. It is dissonant. I'm not too uh, too worried about that. This is not going to be the system we're going to be doing our final search for glyphs in, obviously. But uh, we can find, can and will find interceptors in here. We will be able to. Sell, we may be able to sell one. If we can sell one, we can. Well, we could have got that exotic, but I got all the uh, I got all the steps backwards in this in this playthrough. In my haste to be uh, to be uh, chill and and relaxed. Okay, so here we go. Um, are we close enough to the uh, surface yet to trigger this thing? There's a holographic comms tower. So, yeah, of course, it's purple. It's dissonant, right? Here we go. Echo locator. Yeah, this looks like a particularly nasty place. Over this way. These are not usually very far away. Yeah, less than a minute or just about a minute. They're not usually very far away. Um, if we find a nice one right off the top, I'm I'm gonna just go with that. I'm gonna strip the uh, the tech and everything out of this thing. Uh, shields, whatever else, and uh, we'll just go with that. I'm not gonna bother if we if we find an A-class interceptor. First off, uh, that's gonna do. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not 
going to bother looking for more. I'm... I mean... We gotta find two glyphs. That's bottom line, right? And we are three hours and 40 minutes in. So the sooner the better, right? Okay, so here's our, our uh, sentinel encampment. So we'll just plunk this thing down right in the middle here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get some of this stuff, some of that stuff. Go in here. I don't know if we're in the uh, shelter of anything. What's going on here? Isn't there? Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Now am I still... Okay, I'm... I'm not in the elements here. So... We have enough, yeah. I think we, we have enough of everything for uh, a good run at this interceptor here. Crystal shards. Well, what we need to do is get on this terminal here. Decipher the, uh, the numbers that we need. Right, first, uh, looks like we may have already done this. Five, 10, and 16. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for five, 10, and 16. That should open us up. Or lift lockdown, we should get our wings here, right? We haven't actually, uh, there we go. Air on jetpack. All right, now we can go back in. I uh, locate the dissonance spike, which is the ship. Then we can unlock the uh, multi-tool box over on our left. So, uh, well, maybe we'll get a decent multi-tool too. Who knows? Got a pretty good storm going on here, though, I'll tell you that. Storm crystals and everything going on. De deactivate the multi-tool thingy. And let's go over here and see what we got. Oh, we got a cannon. All right. And it's an A-class. So we'll just grab that right now. And get back in our ship so that we're not perishing in this friggin' ammonia soup. Um, I'm going to recharge my, uh, my life support. This is our protection against this stuff here. So, okay, what is this? Suspicious packets. Uh, so great ex exosuit expansion slot. Okay, suspicious packets. Scatter blaster module. Just a weapon. Caster upgrade, eh? Hmm. Maybe this will be the weapon. It's not right now. Okay. It's going to be useful. Let's go see what we got for a ship. First we need to recharge our launch thruster. And our ship is over this way. Again, these are not usually that far away. I... Yeah. Fifteen seconds away, right? So here should be the location of the interceptor. There it is. Need to get out and it's a C class, so like I said, my first one. 
probably not going to be what you're looking for. Okay, now we need to go and fix the brain, or have the brain fixed. So it's this thing. Somehow we got two brains. I don't know how we ended up with two brains, but anyway. The monolith is not usually very far away either. Yeah, it's probably on this mountain here. There it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of turn it around, face the ship. There it is over there. And now we need to go over here. Present the brain. And it renders us harmonic brain, which is what we need to fix that ship. That ship will be in our inventory. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set off another echolocator to see if I can find another ship. Because the goal is to find an A-class ship. There's the first one we found. It's a C-class. Um, if for any reason we'll continue this playthrough, uh, we will sell this ship. So there it is. It's now our ship, and as you can see, Nothing on this ship is broken, which is bizarre for crashed ships, right? There it is. Nothing broken. It is a C-Class, so we're just going to leave it here. It's in our inventory now. We can pick it up anytime we want. Uh, what we're going to do is take off and... First thing I want to do is reload the... Oh boy, we're out of that stuff. Okay. Uranium is gone. I'm um, going to trigger another harmonic locator. Looks like it's over here. Might be the same place, actually. I'd, I'm not sure. But it will show us a different... It should show us a different ship. Because that previous one has been fixed and, and claimed. This looks like a different spot because it's 30 seconds away. So it's further than the other uh, encampment that we found, the first one. Okay, around the side here. There we go. Good enough. So now we do the same drill. I don't know if you absolutely need to do all this stuff. I just do it anyway. I just do it anyway. Why not? Okay. Now, we don't get the first part like we did the last time. Um, with the, uh, the wing pack there. That's the first time you do it in a playthrough. That's when you're going to get that. So, 15 or... And 10, 15, 4, and 10, 15, 4, and 10. Wait, somebody told me it doesn't matter what order you put these in. Um, might not, I don't know. But I rather put them in order, just in case, you know. 
just in case it screws with you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they, they, you know, fix that in the sense that you have to put them in order right now. I don't know. So, um, 33 minutes on foot is 15 seconds by ear, I think. We activate the multi-tool. Seal. So we'll go over here. We got another rifle. And it's a B-class. Uh, it's got the photon cannon and then nothing else. I'm just going to leave that there. We're going to take our... We're going to take our ship. It's just storming again. Oh my goodness. It is too. Look at the crystals. Wow. Crystals are going haywire. Okay, so here's the second ship. Needs be an A class. We can get on with this. <laughs> Hostile scan detected. Really? You're going to come at me in this mess? Emergency comms established. Oh yeah, they are too. My poor little shuttle. And the guy didn't even get a shot in. Sucker. So long, sucker. Mess with Marty. Mess with the best. I like the rest. Actually, Marty's not the best. Far from it. But, mostly holds his own. Mostly. And what do we got going on here? Now, these models, I think on the same planet, they will all be the same model. They may not all be the same class. That looks like a minivan. Or a Jeep or something like that. What do we got here? Oh, we had an A-Class. Okay, awesome. Good. Now we don't have to go any further than this. Um, that there. Put that there. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Let's go in here. Let's, uh, let's shake and bake this thing around a little bit. It's not needed in this boat. Uh, two multi-tool expansion slots. Hey, hey, nice. And a storage expansion slot. That might be nice actually in this ship. Or in the solar. I don't think I need it in that um, in that Sentinel interceptor because it's uh, it's quite nicely um, equipped. Uh, do I not have what it takes to do that? I need three shards, right? These things. No, still the same mission. Ship's brain rejects control. Okay, so we gotta wait for that to kind of kick over. And now, now you get the uh, harmonic brain part of the mission. it'll be the same one because it might be uh, I 
guess it might be. Usually these things, they pick the closest, the closest one. I, th you know, I, I guess, I don't know. The, the items are not, you know, the locations are not usually far apart. So, like I mentioned earlier, this planet also has drills, like we saw on the um, that low air planet in the pirate system. The difference, I think, you will be um, the sentinels that protect the drills here will kind of protect the the drills. They will actually attack you if you uh, if you attempt to kill the drills here okay so here we go we got our a-class interceptor which is awesome can I claim it yeah yeah uh, you know what I want to do though I want to do this instead I want to get rid of one of my other ships. Uh, is it this one? One of these fighters. Okay, so that one is the S-Class. That one I'm going to keep, probably. If I do continue this playthrough. And this one... I think is good for fodder. Yeah. So that's the one I will exchange for this guy. Not even gonna bother to sell that other fighter or whatever. C class. <laughs> yep. Okay. So now we have this guy. Got a good ship. Finally. Got a good ship. Got this thing. Pilot interface. Here's the cannon here. Watch 418 damage, watch it rise a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. That's strange, it didn't go up any more than that, but... Oh, this is more, eh? I think I might put... Uh, this thing over here. 184 to 220, that's not a bad little jump. And... Okay, time to start stripping some tech off the other guy there. Batter blaster... Not really. Also... Because that is... That's the launch thruster fuel. Let's uh, stock up on that so we're not getting friggin' stranded anywhere. Got all these upgrade thingies. Nice. I don't know what to do with all this. It probably. Use some of it to fix the, um, uh, 
fix the um, weapon, the alien, not the alien, the uh, sentinel multi-tool. Okay, so there's that. Um, tritium or radiant shard, warp cell, and all that business. So here's the radiant sh shard. Only got two though. Might have to dig out more of that. Maybe I'll just uh, go with this for now. I don't think I have the blueprint for the big one, eh? No, I don't. That's fine. As long as we get the materials to make that that uh, this thing, we're good. Pretty, eh? That I don't have on this boat. I think I might have it over here. At least, hopefully. <laughs> I don't either. That's useless over here. I just get a warning. I don't know if these recharge the shields on that boat. These are useless. Here's a little bit of tritium. Uh, you can find that in pirate systems too. Let's sell this. Oh, yeah. Put it over to the other ship. I'm not going to be using this ship much anymore, I don't think. So everything that has a use will pretty much be going over to the other ship, I think. call this ship in anyway. Not a big deal. Okay. We don't have a lot of tritium for the pulse engine. Oh, yeah. I wanted to strip the tech out of that thing too, right? Let's start with uh, pushing a few things over. Sorry. That, that, that. Uh, that's for. S no, that's not for sale. This is. I'm going to push that over just in case. I had a funny feeling I'm going to need it. Let's get that over there. Okay. How are we doing? Do I have here? Four, five, six, seven. Light years. 
165 and 165. Two typical A class. Uh, Hyperdrive upgrades. That's pretty much it. I don't even know if I noticed that one there. I think that economy scanner was on that one, wasn't it? If it is, I'll just put it right back in the shuttle. Maybe I'll hang on to it for the... Uh, yeah, it is there. I'll hang on to it for the solar. I don't know if I had it on the solar or not. Yeah, we're going to need to boost this thing up like crazy. Because this isn't going to be enough. 269, shield. Not really. Not enough. 430, that did nothing. Wow. Or apparently did nothing. Hmm. Um, what's this? That's this thing, right? Hyperdrive. 1100, okay, that, now we're starting to get a little more interesting. 13, okay, okay. Economy scanner can go in the solar if it doesn't already have one. Okay. So here we're really short of launch thruster, pulse engine. Yeah. Shield in cannons. Okay, that's fair. All right, see you later, boys. <laughs> this thing probably can still hold its own. I would be willing to bet. Okay. First place to go is... Six hundred and eighty six. Six hundred and eighty six thousand six hundred and thirty nine thousand light years <laughs> from the core. Okay. Um, so we said something like, Oh my goodness, why are we only here? Is it possible that the engine doesn't have enough fuel to go further than this? I guess it is possible. I'm going to look for a pirate system. It's some moons. This one got too many planets. No moons. We were doing this the other day. It took us like five or ten minutes to find a, a decent place to throw our ship at. step I take to the left here is uh, going out of our range. Two planets, no moons. Wow, okay. I 
guess I should be looking at uh, planets like this too. There's too many stars, too many planets here. I should be looking at systems like that too. This one has one moon. Four planets and one moon. Three planets. One moon. planets, two moons. Okay, I'll bite. What an ugly looking ship. Oh my god. It looks like the jeep that wants to hug you with its wings. <laughs> I don't know. You know? Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Looks good, but it's rotting instead. What did I say? Four planets, two moons? That is what I said, isn't it? Yeah. They're around the big brown planet. Well, there's one moon. Right? It's frozen. And it's an empty moon. Hmm. I almost want to just try that, just for shits and giggles. At the other moon? It is. Freezing moon. Okay. Where's the other planet? Probably in behind this guy, is it? There's one moon. Space station. One. Two. Freezing moon. <sighs> give me that stuff. Give me that thing. Give me, give me that. Give me, give me, give me that thing. I'm going to try this one over here, I think. What did it say? Empty? There's the other planet. It uh, looks kind of uh, hot. Black surface. Mm. Misty. Okay, so that is actually a lush planet. That one. As he fires at it. Empty moon. I'm not sure what that means. Anybody tell me if there's uh, graves on these things? It look frozen to me. <laughs> so here's what I was talking about earlier. If you want to look at something from your ship, you can just hover there. See? You can just hover. I don't think any other ships do that in the game. I don't think any ever did until the Sentinel intercept us. Okay, I'm gonna get out. Because the only thing I have left to find here is... Um... Graves. So I'm going to get out and walk for a bit, and uh, I suspect that this thing might be kind of freaky to be, um, um, what was that? Smallest planet, and the planet's a moon. Okay, 
let's just make sure this thing is charged. This is the thruster, right? Make sure it's charged so we can uh, summon this thing. And yeah, we can just go on forever. I love this. <laughs> it's like last Friday, except uh, I was on a lush planet last Friday. Now I don't necessarily want to go too far because I want to I want to start by doing this, just going, uh, how far did we go? 400 units? Okay. I don't necessarily want to scan anything. Subterranean relics here. See, my jetpack is recharging itself. Theoretically, uh, not forever, it's not going to go forever, but I could go for some time, right? And now we've just went another 400 units. Now, okay, so here's something about this planet, this moon. There are, I don't think there are any buildings here. You're not going to get much of anything else. And of course, what I was talking about the other day is, you can do this too, right? You can scan as you go up in the air, right? You don't need to be on the ground to scan, right? Worst thing is, though, is that uh, it's going to mess up your direction, right? So you're, to me, now, 81200, so we just went another 420 units. I could probably go a little bit farther than that. And we'll do this as a launch pad. I think it's probably no point in going too, too far, because, uh, and you're, you're risking missing, you know, not scanning a whole area kind of thing, as much of the area as you might think you're scanning. So here, of course, start back at our six and then go all the way around the clock. Yeah, not seeing any at all. No, no, uh, no graves, no buildings, no nothing. It is what it is. a bit, right? It's like I said, though, no point in going too far. Curious deposit here? Really? Oh. Of course, you get your minerals, right? You get underground stuff. There's nothing on this planet, right? Uh, there's some flora. It's probably underground, right? In the caves. Minerals are everywhere, of course. Um, and there's no creatures, of course.
I just hope I'm not going too far, you know. I guess that's a possibility, isn't it? Sentinels here. They don't seem to be paying much attention to us. Okay with me. There is nothing on this planet, on this moon. There isn't a living soul. there. Kind of. There. Kind of. Again. <sighs> not be wanna, would not want to be stuck on a rock like this. structure. Only question is, are there drop pods here? We are now 15 minutes away. Took us three minutes to get here, but we're 15 minutes away. <laughs> the downside. Using a jetpack is of course draining your life support. So of course you got to go back in here and you got to fill that up. We have all kinds of oxygen so we're not too worried about that at all. Uh, okay, I'm going to do another 360 here. Copper. There's copper here. Magnetospheroid. What else? Rusted metal. Okay. I would have tried. 1221. Closing in on four and a half hours. And I still gotta watch her in chat. Get out. just forgot to shut me off. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get a, uh, a grave on this friggin' ball of nothing. surprise me, but then again, maybe it would.
was thinking of trying to make it up the hill, but I didn't want to slam face and eyes into this rock here. Looked like that was what was going to happen, so... I said, nah, you know what? I'm good. There's nothing. Can I make it to that? Right over there? I don't know. Try. I think we can. Right on top of that rock. There's no graves on planets like that. Come on. But you would think that this would be exactly the planet that there would be graves on. Because you're probably not equipped to survive on this freaking gravel. Even when I'm out of gas, I'm not out of gas. That's my ship back there. We're half an hour away. Yep, ten minutes later, right? We're half an hour away. Am I doing this right? No, I don't need to be doing that, right? <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's an ancient ruin. Uh, how far is that? That's not very far away. So, if there's an ancient ruin, I wonder, could there also be ancient bones from a traveler long gone? Let's, uh, let's have a look around. What's in here? Knowledge stones? That's it, eh? No big uh, hoopla under the ground there. Yeah. There you got that. Oh, you got this. There's usually something over here too, isn't there? Oh yeah, legacy of... Something or other. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spells out in the language of my own people. Noble travelers will be spared. The journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of her commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and belief of the ancients. Sure. My knowledge of the Viking increases. I learned the word for command. Structure, yeah, yeah. Get that. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say we're on a ley line here. So I think... I want to go north. If I had a better jetpack, I could go even way farther than this. This is far enough. Not terrible. So now we got this identified. We didn't get very far from it, but that's okay. Um, and we're going right over these two rocks here, kind of.
Sometimes I wonder if I'm doing enough forward motion. Oh, something just took me off track. That's okay. There's nothing here anyway. <laughs> okay. Go over to this little knoll right here. Deposits here and there, but um, and a few of these. My goodness, this place is bereft of most things. Can we get to that place? Frickin' calm here, holy crap. I can't stay here though. There's nothing here. If you destroy this egg, or try to grab the uh, the egg that's inside this thing, <laughs> you'll see that there's something here. You will see, I tell you. Oh, what? Oh, that's a monolith or something over there. Okay, well... We're almost on a ley line. That's a monolith or a plaque. Are we going to get right on top of it, I wonder? No. Missed it by foot. Music, eh? Okay. Memories of a long deceased tribe Viking warriors flows from the stone marker forming ghostly essence that fills me with wisdom. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent. The travelers must prevail. So degrees of earth, language, blah blah blah. Work for you. Alright, Herc. Show me a damn traveler grave then. You've known the travelers. Where are they? I know you didn't impede them, but the low air and the uh, freezing conditions may have. Yeah, nothing, eh? Okay, let's see. North is kind of that way. Support 
power is low. You are correct, Amundo. Forty minutes. Nah. I swear it was only like ten or fifteen minutes ago we left that. Seeing what I'm looking for. building. Servitory? Seriously? Okay, I gotta go check that out. I'm not going in, but I need to check it out. Probably abandoned. Although you'd think it would say abandoned building. is abandoned and seeing a few things here. Did not look like that was what... Oh, okay, fix that. Technology modules. Oh, that's what the uh, with the observatory, right? If I scan a few things, the graves will prop out. Pop out. Doubt it.
go for a few more minutes. Um, I think I will be looking for... I will be looking for a paradise moon. Because um, I have a funny feeling I'll probably have much better luck on something like that than on something like this. Even though the uh, commute here is a uh, hundred times better, probably. Funny you put it that way, eh? Commute. <laughs> Kind of what I'm doing though, isn't it? Commuting. Yeah. Transmission tower? So is abandoned. But yep, transmission tower. Okay, so what does it say? Void the galactic network. Cannot land or interact with space station trading post, planetary archives, buildings, outposts, observatory shelters, etc. Galactic trade terminals, freighters, and da 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 da. systems for real oh shit got the wrong tool out where's my freaking uh jack leader this guy crap on this thing. Carbon nanotubes and no diet jelly. Do these do these whoop back over here. Put this on quickly. Okay. Now these guys are attacking that transmission tower. Takes us a stray bullet, right? Just dig my way right through here. They're they're shooting at an abandoned building. I don't get it. I really don't. And it's a good thing I'm not over there because. So abandoned buildings can land out of use, but only in abandoned systems and when all the eggs are removed. Are removed on foot if you are a true MVP. On foot. Oh, I see. You can remove the eggs from your ship? Really? Uh, I guess you can, right? 
It doesn't say you have to, it says if you are a true MVP. As I suspected, we're not allowed in here. This is not an abandoned system. This is a pirate system, I think. And yeah, transmission tower. We're, uh, he's closing in on an hour away from our ship. Didn't feel like an hour to me. Tell me it wasn't an hour. Delta. Shock. Can I make it up that hill? I can certainly try. Close enough. Close enough for rock and roll. Okay. Nothing. We're gonna get a building every, uh, every, oh, just went over the pole there. Now I'm headed south. See what happened there? Pole is just over there somewhere. And evidenced by the fact that we are 86.5 degrees latitude. And that number will be falling. So, okay. How long it's going to take to get all the way around the planet? I think there was a fellow online there, on chat, one of, one of the, uh, the streams there a little while back, said he'd walked around the planet. And I was thinking, wow, that's a long, long, especially a, like, not a moon, a planet. That's a long, long way. Holy crap. That's a heck of a challenge. Put yourself on. Planet over there. Planet right there. Planet's there. That's, that's the planet for this moon, actually, isn't it? That make for a nice backdrop. See that whole thing. You see part of it. Where do you snakes thumbnail? That not work?
Nice. Nice. Thumbnail. South, eh? <laughs> All right, let's go south then. like less than a half an hour. I think it's actually been a lot less than a half an hour. Disappointed we haven't found much though. in two hours oh you know what that is that's a space station pretty sure yeah look at it <laughs> space station space station Slain. Curious deposit turns into oh, look at that another ancient data structure. Does that mean there's another building around? Well, I don't see it, at least not yet.
Where did Curious Deposit go? See that? It's gone. It was back there somewhere. Gone now. I'm too far away, I guess, right? That's the point with this, right? Your your head your head scanner, your whatever whatever you're using there. It only sees so far, right? The second you get out of range, yeah, you know what? Not showing you that anymore. I wouldn't have thought I was out of range there though. Mostly because um, some of these things are quite far away. Well, not including my ship. 627 for that. That's pretty far. Magnetized ferrite and rusty bits and pieces, right? Rusty junk. Okay. Get out of my way, mofo. That's the little black uh, cube kind of shape things that, well, the ancient data always is associated with too, isn't it? Those little black cubey kind of things, they're not worth much. When I first started playing this game, I was, um, oh my god, got to get in the caves to get that stuff, because... Uh, Well, you didn't have much access to anything else, really, money-wise. The more I played, the more I realized, you be patient, my son. <laughs> you be patient. There's lots of stuff out there you can get money from. Just be patient. Yeah, I... Uh, not seen much on this planet. I've not seen the sunrise, or the star rise, I should say. I know, it doesn't rise. Yeah, they are. Better replenish that right now, right? There you go. Happy now? How about picking up a uh, traveler grave for me there, uh, Einstein. I got a funny feeling there are none on this planet.
one o'clock. We're five hours in. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. What we're going to do is... I might pick it up again tomorrow night. I don't know yet. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. There's lots of little bits and pieces, moving parts and stuff in this uh, challenge. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So uh, I, might, uh, I might stream it again tomorrow. If not, uh, it might it might wait till uh, till after the uh, kerfuffle with the um, with Expedition Ten, right? Because Expedition Ten was launched a couple of days ago, and um, yeah, I uh, I am uh, at least part way through. Um, well, actually, I'm most of the way through uh, Phase 4. I've, I haven't been playing it, like, you know, marathoning it or anything, but... Um, yeah, so I've, I'm, I'm closing in on the end of Expedition 10 as well. But uh, off-stream, off-stream version. And uh, next week, so Monday... And at least Wednesday will be the Twitch version of Expedition 10. Tuesday and Thursday evening, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern, will be the YouTube version of Expedition 10. I always like to try to get a run in first, just to see, you know, gear myself how much time I'm going to need and stuff like that. Um, try to keep it under a couple of streams, right? You know, add or under a couple of streams. Uh, shouldn't be a big, big deal. I mean, uh, you know, most of, most of the experts will do it in probably an hour or two, right, at some point. Yeah, I do this, 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 and I like to take my time and just, uh, you know, chill my way through it. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how we're going to do it. So, um, again, maybe tomorrow evening, um... Stay tuned. Maybe we're going to do uh, this again tomorrow evening. All right. In any case, uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And, uh, and uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you again. We'll see you again on stream, either mine or yours. Cheers, everybody.